So good morning or good afternoon everyone. Today we're having another very interesting session from the Maritime Innovation Update sessions. Today we're going to be diving into another very interesting subject in the maritime world, namely maritime simulation. My colleague Ashwarya Kumar will be showing you, uh, will be giving you a first glimpse into how these simulations can be achieved in the maritime world with advanced tracking of data. Without that being said, Ashwarya, you have the floor. Please proceed. Thank you, Rosman. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ashwarya Kumar, and I'm working as a full stack developer at front of CML. And I have the opportunity to present the topic on data tracking in a connected world of maritime simula simulations. Um, yeah, let's get started then. I'll go through the agenda for the presentation first. Um, we'll start with the introduction of the topic, followed by the role of data tracking in maritime simulations. Uh, then what is the meaning of connected world of simulations? Uh, then we go through the solution which we have uh, come across. That is a data tracker application uh, where we will go. We will also look inside it as an overview for the features and answers which it performs. Uh, then we will see what are the upcoming planned features which we want to integrate in uh, in our data tracker, and um, yeah, and uh, of course uh, that we uh, once we plan it now it's in the planning phase we don't know when it will start but yeah something which we have planned across yeah so in addition to the road rail and air transport sectors as you have seen there are so much of going around in these sectors but maritime there is uh, not so much so now the maritime industry is also experiencing this upswing in digitalization in addition to the development of partial autonomous and remote control concept for navigation uh, which are initial ideas include the development of artificial intelligence and mobile services in particular concept for the improved exchange of information between maritime actors through maritime infrastructures but the cost associated with the maritime technology development is huge in terms of time and data associated to it data gathering and management is also a huge task in in terms of maritime industry this is let's say a one kind of drawback in maritime industry which is like add on in um, rail and uh, road sectors right so how can we provide the solution to these problems which which may cost so much in maritime industry that's the problem for uh, for our let's say for the goal of this application so the solution should involve the data from the simulators, which are not that costly, like uh, getting the real ship data, but yeah, as well as from the real ship data. So it's it's like a combination between your simulating world as well as your uh, real world ship data. So that combination is uh, what we also term as a link simulation that will provide more insights in the data gathering association of the data as well as the validating the performance and actions. Use of machine learning and AI models on top of this linked simulation can do further enhancement and validate the associated simulations. This can improve in educating the seafarers too. So these are the bundle of solution which we thought um, that would be integrated for us from our solutions, right? To bundle these thoughts as a solution, we developed a network which is called as EMSN. The full form is European Maritime Simulator Network uh, that has been developed by us. So the idea of the network is pretty simple. It should be independent of the geolocations from wherever the, um, let's say, wherever the exercise is getting performed. They can perform these exercises based on the simulators or gather their VTS data or ship data and um, perform a collaborative exercise everywhere. So for example, if um, you are in, let's say, um, Korea and we are performing a test from Spain, and um, let's say in Hamburg, all three people can actually participate in these exercises. That's the basic idea. And this is, let's say, overview of how we are going, uh, how we are uh, accumulating the data from both the worlds. Currently, we have 11 centers with four simulators manufacturers and 40 customer bridges, which are in support in the EMSN network. Um, all are in different geolocation like uh, Abu Amare, Chalmers, like Korean counterparts, 
maybe when you see this presentation later, maybe the uh, numbers will change, but currently this is the total infra. Yep. So this diagram provides the overview of the network architecture, uh, which is associated in EMS and network. So you have your own simulator. There is a disk gateway for converting the data, then the data tracker, which gathers the data um, and pushes it into the network. VR application can also take part into by visualizing the current scenario of an exercise. Uh, later, via VR application, you can also participate by creating the ship. We'll, we'll look into it uh, in bit detail in the next slides. Um, we also have a server for blocking and making sure that the data are transparent to every place and uh, also can stream normally. Uh, we use VoIP, that is uh, voice over IP communication um, into the network between uh, for communicating between each sites. The outline for the data tracker is to synchronously start and stop the EMS and wide exercise to allow for central data tracking in a connected storage across all simulators. Uh, since there are many different simulator manufacturers available into the network, uh, the baseline technology which we use is DIS protocol. Uh, this DIS is to support the simulation data exchange between connected simulators as DIS PDU packets. Uh, there are different PDU which we consider like uh, entity state PDU, starts, uh, resume PDU, uh, stop, freeze, receiver and signal PDUs. Um, there are different specialized feature in the data tracker application itself. So it is like monitor, um, which gives you the current scenario in terms of data. Um, then you have a tracking of the data. Uh, you can independently store the data onto your site. Um, emulator is to emulate the data into the network uh, with your own set of commands, and it is independent of the simulators. Uh, the plotter is an analytical tool to showcase the performance. Uh, based on your multiple data stream factors. Um, inside the data tracker, uh, there are multiple, let's say, information which can be directly visualized. Um, so one is, let's say, site information, means which bridge from which client is online and what kind of data it is emitting. Entity list of that selected site means which ships they have put into the network. Uh, detailed information of that particular entity of the site provides depth information on AIS and data PDU packets, which are which they are emitting through their simulators. Um, fourth would be the query and refresh PDU um, th that are used for clear internal caches of the site, as well as getting more information from the site itself. Um, it also has the web UI, um, which can show the placement of the entity onto the integrated map of the tool. Um, since it's still in the progress, so we are not putting it up here. Uh, there are some more insights of the entity and state PDU packets, which provides more information about what all data can be seen. Um, as you can see, uh, the position, orientation, and dynamics data from the entity of the site is in details. Adding on, you can also visualize the AIS data and engine thrust data information for that particular entity on all the sites at the same time across the EMS network. Um, so basically, you can visualize the scenario that you have um, a simulator, in, as I mentioned, let's say in Spain, and you are performing an exercise which you want to test with someone in uh, Finland. Uh, it's possible through our EMS. The visualization is happening on our tool, and um, as well as you can see those data sent to the simulators as well as on your IGDIS network. So. Basically, what you have on the ship in real time can be portrayed here offshore through our network. The emulator or the DIS emulator inside the tracker is working as a mini ship handling simulator. It means you have your own set of information and you can place the data into the network without having simulator on your site. So you can create your own ship the traffic ship and also up upload the routes which you want to come across. It will behave as a replication of the main simulator. Also, you can play old AIS tracks with your own designed, uh, let's say, own ship and traffic ship configuration into the network. So randomly also, you can generate 5 to 15 ships uh, with a different set of information like speed location into the network from one single simulator on one particular site. 
so you can mimic uh, also you can mimic the past data or um, you can plan the future uh, let's say future ais tracks onto the ui directly and um, of course with your own planned sets of data uh, for performing any kind of exercises with uh, other partners um as in sideline overview of the ems network and uh, this information provides hints on what things are possible integration of ais data into the simulator uh, your own designed rtz routes and the traffic configuration uh, this provides a realistic scenario as an actual vessel traffic um, as you also have uh, an highly interactive ui you can directly play with your set of uh, information visualize the information on the ui um for example you can check which ships are making a red flag alert for collision or elision which are next to your ship and also you can visualize these thing into the vr right um thereafter the tool like sim plotter um which is also an integrated part inside the uh, inside the tool uh, which works through an api will plot your um, own ship mechanics and give you more ideas or uh, how you have performed in what kind of scenario so if there is a collision how you have performed you can actually visualize everything on the plotter um, based on your system dynamics from the show, uh, from your performance um this is the latest thing which we have integrated into our data tracker application that is vr um, so inside the virtual environment uh, you get to see not only your own site entity but also the other site entity uh, you can then create your own graphics inside the virtual world for me making the packages coming from the tracker application so you can just make an open sea concept and you can visualize in that particular area where the exercise is performing how the ships are behaving um you can also create your own ship as well as traffic ship through the virtual controls in the vr environment as we have the dis emulator these set of information communicate via api with our emulator and thus providing the information to the simulation network um let's talk about what we are planning uh, further for integrating into the data tracker application uh future integration that um, that we are looking forward to for is uh, implementation of machine learning algorithms um, as we will put multiple api for direct simulating the ship data which we are receiving via satellite communication in an nmi format and then these algorithms will help in showing uh, more accurate vectors or you can provide information regarding colored rules can predict the future movement based on the current scenario also it can suggest things for uh, search and rescue operation or predicting the future path given the multiple factors associated into the environment it will also help in predicting the collision avoidance based on the vessel current trajectory speed maybe um it can help the help in optimizing the route planning based on the prediction of the future movement of the traffic ships um also it can help in anomaly detection um finding the unusual behavior during the simulations um these information will be sh uh, shared over api so that anyone can bring their application and use these trained model for betterment so if you have developed a new application and you want to let's say train into the simulation you just bring the software connect to our api and it should work that's the idea currently it is happening only for the vr application but uh, soon or the later we will also integrate this machine learning and ai model um, which can interact directly with the apis uh, yes there are still at these are still at the initial phase uh, will definitely take some time for implementation um, we want to make sure to build this network as a one stop solution for providing awareness in the connected world of maritime simulation network um, that would be the idea for the future i think i'm done so thank you everyone for your time and listening to me uh, i'm up for the questions now thank you very much for a very nice presentation uh, and for the participants this chat to this uh, meeting you can as written in the chat window post your questions in the chat window or if you want you can also unmute yourself and post questions um until we have the first question probably i will take the first round and ask you something ashwarya mm -hmm. um you mentioned at the beginning something about the vr technology could mm -hmm. you maybe emphasize how is this vr technology being embedded or added to the emsn network 
Um, yeah, um, so the DIS tracker application forwards this DI pack, DIS packets to the VR, let's say, environment. And these mm -hmm. VR app decodes this DIS packages. And um, uh, so this application decodes and um, it formats according to the, according to the, let's say, the asset from the data sets. Yeah, and the emulator then um, it just create and let's say ship sends the data back to our emulator. That emulator then uh, put it put these data in uh, convert it into DIS, put these data onto the simulator network. So this is how it works. And this is a standard protocol that VR goggles usually can follow with the, mm -hmm. the appropriate mm -hmm. application. Yeah. All right. And maybe one last question from my side as well. Um, you mentioned at the beginning that you can be part of this network via your own simulator. What if I don't have a simulator? What can I do? Um, can I still be part of this network? Um, yeah, that's the idea because um, as we are claiming this, uh, that this software is also behaving as a mini virtual simulator. Mm -hmm. So you can have this simulator and let's say you have the data from somewhere, you put it into the database, you uh, push these data into our environment and you can actually see, perform and simultaneously take participation into the whole exercise. And everyone can see what data you are emitting with and what kind of own ship and traffic ships you are performing an exercise with. So it's possible. Provided that I'm following the protocol yeah. you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Great. Exactly. Super. Thank you. So uh, are there any questions from the public? So I guess nobody is uh, one. Ha everything was so clear in your presentation and no one has questions in any case. Um, if there are some questions, uh, you have my colleagues email address and phone number. And you can for sure. Put further questions about the EMSN network directly to him. And uh, you can of course contact him for um similar topics i think Shred is very open to this kind of uh, technologies and is, as you see have seen there are ongoing developments in this um simulation network so be sure you will have uh updates in the coming months um if there are no questions and i don't see anyone raising their hands or writing something i will then um mentioned then we'll, that we'll continue with our maritime innovation updates also next week with our colleague Hari Sundar Mahadavan. The topic is sweeps a bit from the simulation from the real uh, ships towards synthetic data towards simulation and um, we will we'll be looking into acquisition of simulation simulator data with complex evaluation tasks for situational awareness. The topic will be presented by my colleague next week at the same time, so be sure to subscribe to our uh, maritime innovation updates under the link you will find in the chat window. Ashwarya, thank you very much for presentation and thanks for the participation and see you next time with the, the next maritime innovation update. Have a nice thank weekend. You. Okay. See you. Bye. Thank you.